What's up guys? So today I'm going to be talking about some of my March favorites. This is my first ever favorites video and I'm so excited. I've wanted to do one for a really long time and it's finally come. So I really hope you enjoy. So the first beauty product I'm going to talk about is my new All May Smart Shade CC Luminous Primer. And I heard about this on Makeup Alley. If you've never heard of Makeup Alley, it's a website that helps you review uh, makeup products. And this is something that was given five stars by a lot of people. So I decided to try it out. It was actually sold out at Ulta. So I ended up going to Walgreens to get it. It's basically, it's a CC cream, which means color correction or complexion correcting primer. It has SPF in it, and basically you just put this on after you moisturize, before you put your foundation on. And I really like it. It comes out pink, which I thought was kind of cool. Usually primers that I use are clear or white. I really like that, and I just started using it this week, so I will let you know, but so far it's a really great product and I would recommend it. The next beauty product that I bought recently is this Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And this mascara is really, really inexpensive, which I love. And it's got this interesting wand. Um, it's just very flat. I like, I like it a lot. Um, it's just a great mascara, and I love it. The next thing that I use a lot are these simple cleansing wipes. Uh, this is more skincare, kind of going out of order. Um, but I've been using these for a couple months, and I absolutely love them. My mom just got me a two-pack of them, so I have a lot more to go through. Uh, but I absolutely love these, and yeah, you can get them at Target, you can get them at any drugstore. They're pretty inexpensive, I think like 3 or $4, um, but they get all your makeup off, all your eye makeup. Tip, don't buy the eye ones by Simple, they're not very good. Um, I would just stick with the big ones, they're the best. The next thing I have uh, bought recently, I also found on Makeup Alley, and it's the Palladio Herbal Tinted Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Berry. And I love this stuff. If you've ever tried a tinted lip balm, they're absolutely amazing. I love baby lips, but this one is more lipsticky, like it has a lot more pigment to it than the baby lips do. And it's also a balm, so it's very moisturizing. I absolutely love this stuff. I would definitely recommend either going to Sally Beauty Supply to get this or at Ulta, and that's where I got mine. The next thing that I got is also a lip product, and I got at Ulta, and that's a NYX Butter Gloss. Um, it's a gloss that also has pigment to it. A lot of people on YouTube absolutely love these and would highly recommend them to all of you. Um, so this is definitely something that I've been loving this month. The last product I got at Whole Foods and it is the Desert Essence Gentle Facial Scrub with Jojoba Oil and Almond Meal. Now I've been researching a lot about the different oils that you can use on your face and jojoba oil is apparently one of the best because it is closest to the sebum on our face. It's made from a jojoba plant and it's really good for you. So if you want to learn more about jojoba oil, check out my Pinterest page. I've pinned a lot of stuff about jojoba oil and this is basically just a face scrub that has it in it. So when I saw jojoba oil on there, I was like, I'm definitely going to get this. So this is really good. It's just very exfoliating. I'll have to see whether or not I like this. I just got it recently, but I would consider it one of my favorites because it's awesome. Now for non-beauty favorites, um, I have a couple of things that I like to talk about. Uh, the first one are books. I commute to school, so I have been reading a lot of audiobooks on tape in my car, and the first book that I read this semester, or this month, is uh, Eleanor and Park. I'm about halfway through it, um, so I don't know how it ends, don't spoil it. Um, but I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful love story. If you liked The Fault in Our Stars or the movie Bridge to Terabithia, it's absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful love story about two kids who fall in love on the school bus, and I really, really enjoy it. So I've been on my iPad a lot and on my phone, and I've been using a lot of apps this month. One of the apps that I use a lot is Afterlight. It's a lot like Instagram. Um, you can use it before Instagram to post to the site. It's, a, it's got a lot more um, filters than Instagram, different filters that are very hipster, I guess. And I really, really enjoy that one. So I got that, it was 99 cents in the Apple Store. If you wanna you know, splurge on an app, I don't buy apps very often, but that was one that I definitely 
um, splurged on. Another app that I've been using a lot lately is the Studio Sleep app. Basically, it, it tells your rhythms of your sleeping patterns. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works. I'm a little skeptical about it. But it basically, if you move around, that means that you're awake or you're not in deep sleep. And when you're in deep sleep, you don't move, I think. So it like monitors it through the night. And um, yeah, but then one night I like fell on the floor and it still was monitoring it. So I was like, I don't know if this is legit or not. But I'm gonna keep using it to see. It's kind of interesting to see your uh, routines and your uh, nightly patterns. So that's one app that I've also been using. And then another app that I use is the Goodreads app. If you like to read like I do, um, it's a great app to look at book reviews and mark down the books that you read and the books that you want to read. And it's really fun. You can join with Facebook so you can see what all of your friends are reading. You can join groups and make new friends on Goodreads. And I absolutely love going on there, and that's how I found a lot of the books that I have been reading. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to be doing more videos like this soon. Hopefully I'll be doing a room tour, um, what's in my bag, you know, all the basics on YouTube. But this is my first monthly video for favorites. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see. If you'd like to see a product review, if you'd like to see whatever you want to see. Maybe a challenge video with one of my friends. Um, just let me know. So have a great week and I'll see you guys later. Bye!